Good morning, good evening, and welcome to World of Warships. My name is Robin, and today we are going to sail in the Tier 10 Soviet destroyer Khabarovsk. But first of all, thank you very much for tuning in the video. I really appreciate it, and I hope you will enjoy your time here. The ship we are about to sail in has 8 130 mm guns with a top range of 11.2 km, 22,500 points of HP, 10 torpedoes with a top range of 10 km and a top speed of 46.6 knots. For the modules, I've installed Main Armament Modification 1, Aiming System Modification 1, Main Battery Modification 3, Propulsion Modules 1 and 2, and Steering Gear Modification 3. For my commander, Basic Firing Training, Expert Marksman, Last Stand, and Super Intended. Soviet destroyers are known to be an extremely dangerous opponent. The good combination of speed and overwhelming firepower makes them a really interesting ship to fight with, and the Habarovsk is top of the line in this domain. But enough of the descriptions, let's take it to battle. Here we are, on the map Tears of the Desert. I have spawned right in the middle, facing Objective B, and I'm going to use my speed to get to it as fast as I can. The enemy team have a destroyer advantage, and I'm here to counter that. Our team is apparently going to focus objective A and C, and it seems to be deploying effectively. Three destroyers, three caps, it adds up pretty simply, doesn't it? Unfortunately, I ran out of Sierra Mike flags for this battle, but I'm still sailing at a remarkable speed of more than 46 knots. I did not choose to use the Concealment module on this ship, but the Steering Gear 3 module instead. Soviet destroyers are not meant to be discreet. They really rely on their speed, maneuverability and firepower dissuasion. So my Khabarovsk is dedicated to these exact things. I am approaching Objective B and I realize I might be taking a risk. I am detected, but no destroyers are denying my cap just yet. I'm going to lay down my smoke and angle inside any potential incoming torpedoes. My objective here is to get the potential enemy destroyers in the area to feel comfortable. I want them to be greedy and get closer to my smoke, so I can pop out of it and surprise them. I do not intend staying in my smoke for too long. You all know that the smoke is always a torpedo magnet. And here, a destroyer has entered B cap now, denying it, so I decide to go full ahead and get out. It's going to be about time, because I know torpedoes are incoming. I am detected as soon as I'm visible and oh, I'm late. Torpedoes are already here and I barely, barely evade what seems to be two different torpedo salvos coming from two different destroyers. Smoke is being laid in front of me. I'm going to immediately send my volley of torpedoes towards it. Enemy Lo Yang pops out and engage my ship. Enemy Atago is picking me out of cover this is trouble. I did not expect that much enemies in the area. Our friends in the back are now in range to support me and I'm trying to rotate back to my smoke and take cover. Unfortunately, my smoke is going to be already dissipated. But I am going to score a torpedo hit. The destroyer that was shooting me is getting punished 
inside his own smoke. I'm trying to blind fire at the position where I think my torpedo have hit, but without success. Enemy Atago, or Takao should I say, still firing at my ship. And I take a lot of damage. I use my repair, hoping that he will find another target to shoot at. I have cut the power to overthrow my opponent's aim, and that is going to be really fortunate, because torpedoes are incoming, and how convenient, they are just spread enough for me to avoid. Hold on. Uh oh. Um. No, no luck. All skills. I completely planned for these torpedoes to stop right here in front of me. Enemy destroyer in the smoke is finally going to reveal himself and that is the new Yugumo. Well, should I say that was the new Yugumo since he was in my domain and I took him out like he never existed. Phew. It seems like we have cleared B. The Lo Yang might still be in the smoke in front of me, but he is running. I have taken lots of hits. I cannot make any mistakes like the ones I just did, or it's back to the port for me. Enemy Lo Yang is apparently trying to fire at my last known position and is going to reveal himself, giving me and my team good intel that he is right behind this island. Our team have captured Area A and the enemies are mostly stacked up northeast at sea camp. So my friendly Yugumo and I are going to hunt down the enemy Lo Yang. I fire torpedoes to deny any potential path and I'm detected, meaning that the Lo Yang just peaked the island. We have successfully capped objective B and the Yugumo is launched in a full pursuit against the Chinese destroyer. I'm taking fire from an unknown source, probably a battleship that nearly hit me. And there, the Yugumo is spotting the Lo Yang that seemed to be holding us away now. Any better, because I am coming for him. The speed boost is up and running, and I'm in full interception mode. I set the Lo Yang on fire right before he takes cover from the island. The fire seem to stick on him, so I know he is doomed, whatever he does. I am still taking fire from the north, but hey, I'm luckily a difficult target to shoot at. One last salvo at the burning Lo Yang, and I take him out. That is two enemy destroyers out of the battle. And I say we've done a pretty good job rebalancing the kill counter. Our team is in a good position. We have denied any possible flanks and now we just need to hold our grounds. Create a blockade that will prevent the enemies to come down and capture B. I am going to escort the Yugumo and stay behind him. There is still two enemy destroyers in the vicinity and I do not want to move without support anymore. Any direct engagement with another ship could easily lead to my destruction, so I'm going to have to lay low for a while. And look at this, look at that grouping of enemies ready to push in. We have to take defensive positions and prevent them to overwhelm us. My smoke is ready and my objective now is going to set up near this island in range of a maximum of enemies and harass every target I can, set fires, deny path with torpedoes, etc. Enemy Tirpitz is the closest target, so I'm going to engage him. He is already on fire and I'm going to set another one. That might force him to use his damage control. Here we go, yes, he used it and now he just became my top 
priority target. I was already starting to harass you, Tippets, but now I am going to be dedicated to set you on fire. My torpedo system are ready, so I'm going to send them all towards potential targets. My torpedoes are far from being the best, but I really never pass up any opportunities to use them. I'm still harassing the Tippets trying to set him up on fire. I'm going to switch quickly to the Dimitri Donskoy. I set him on fire as well. And now pay attention to my torpedoes. Enemy Amagi is sailing right into their path as well as the enemy Gneiser now. I am definitely getting the kill on the Amagi and holy Hell. Yeah. Enemy Ganesa now just got pranked by Wargaming and my torpedo that hit him right next to its front turret erases the German battleship with a detonation. And I get the kill on the Amagi at the same time. We earn devastating strike and one of my luckiest double strike I've ever achieved. Enemy Donskoy is going to use his radar, so I have to move out of my smoke. We earn Confederate, and one of my fire is sticking on the Soviet cruiser. I'm going to stay behind this island. I like it so far. It has well protected me, and I'm going to see that the enemy Iowa is now pushing forward. My torpedoes are ready. He is slowing down. I am going to launch a denying volley in his path, hoping to catch him unaware. His guns are not turned my way, so I am going to open fire. The Iowa class are pretty fast battleships, so I'm not really hoping for any massive torpedo damage. But I'm going to get rather lucky, and it seems like one of my torpedo is going to hit him, causing a flood and granting us high caliber. I lay down my smoke, and yes, it seems like two more of my torpedoes are going to hit him. That is definitely going to force his damage control. So I am just going to sit in my smoke and harass the enemy battleship, setting him on fire because now I know they are going to stick. I'm going to switch to AP as soon as he starts giving me a broadside and at this range my APs are just going to chew through his upper structure dealing enough damage to finish him off. I secure my fifth kill of the game. We earn Kraken Unleashed, and that is the perfect example of how good a Soviet destroyer can perform on a single target if it's offered the proper conditions. I've dealt more than 60,000 points of damage to the Iowa, mixing fires, floods and AP damage. Objective B now is being captured, and I make the mistake. I cannot let that happen, I do not want the enemy taking back our progress, and I'm going to be overly aggressive. Dmitry Donskoy is engaging my ship at long range and is scoring pretty good hits on me. I realize that I have overextended, and I should have stayed in my smoke. But it's too late. Enemy destroyers already have a lock on me. I try to fire back, launch torpedoes, but I get taken out. <sighs> it's alright. We learn from our mistakes, and I did good. It was time for me to go. A few moments later, after our team managed to defend B Cap, we secured a victory by points. 200 and 10,000 points of damage dealt, 
8500 XP earned and 600,000 credits gained. We've achieved Confederate, Kraken Unleashed, Devastating Strike, High Caliber and Double Strike. Pretty wild run with the Habarovsk. The start was terrible and I almost got taken out right from it, but I came back. I fought and used everything in my powers to hit the enemy as hard as I could before saying goodbye. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching it until the end. I hope that you've enjoyed it and if you did and you are con hard, give it a like and stay tuned. There is more content to come about World of Warships. Until then, have a good one and take it easy.